There are three things you need to know if you want to create engaging, shareable, and viral Instagram Reels. First, you need to use something called auditory associations. This sounds way fancier and more complicated than it actually is, but it's a crucial part to tapping into music and sounds that Instagram has proven to hold someone's attention, which is exactly what you want your Reels to do. Get this part wrong and it doesn't matter how smart or funny or creative your Instagram Reels are. They're just not gonna work. The next thing you need is something called the rate of revelation. Every single viral Instagram reel you've ever seen lives and dies by this rule. But don't worry if you've never heard of this before. Most haven't, so I'll show you exactly what it means and how to implement it in your Instagram reels. And lastly, you need to structure your reels to tap into a psychological phenomenon known as sensory overload. This will ensure that your reels get watched again and again and again. So let me show you how it's done, starting with the all important auditory associations. When it comes to creating an engaging Instagram reel, one of the most important things you can do is choose the right music, song, or sound to go along with it. Not only will this give your reel a bit of an algorithm boost by tapping into a proven crowd favorite, but there's kind of a group intelligence at play here as well. Almost like a massive one billion person focus group or survey where everyone on Instagram is all voting and weighing in on what songs they like most, and the most popular ones become trending audio. Not only that, but there are a number of studies that show that auditory stimuli evoke powerful emotional responses. And strong emotions are what makes things interesting and enjoyable and memorable. But this is probably no surprise. I mean, if I asked you to say pause for three seconds to think about your favorite song and how it makes you feel, the odds are good that you'll notice and experience an often immediate and very powerful increase in dopamine and endorphins in your brain. Basically, music makes you feel good. Which is why, to put it bluntly, you'd be crazy not to use these songs and sounds in your Instagram Reels. So the only question then is, how do you find the best trending audio to use in your Instagram Reels? Well, my favorite way is the good old fashioned manual scroll. This is basically where I just scroll through my Reels feed and I pay attention to the songs that I like that have that little white arrow in the corner. Then all you need to do is click on the song to get all the information about it, see how many other Reels are using it, and you can click save audio so it'll be there ready when you need it. Another thing you can do is check out Later's Instagram Reels Trends blog. This blog is updated each week with the latest trends, so it's a good place to source and get ideas for those trending audios. Instagram also has a weekly trends report at Creators, and this is loaded with good information. And then there is, of course, going to the original source of all of this, TikTok. This is because TikTok tends to lead the way when it comes to trending songs and trending sounds and trends in general. So if something is trending and working well on TikTok right now, it may show up in Instagram later in a few days, maybe even a few weeks. So that's the music taken care of. But there's another auditory association that you definitely want to implement in your reels. And that is to include relevant sound effects whenever possible. Adding sound effects to your reels is important for two big reasons. First, adding sounds helps to emphasize a point you're making by drawing extra attention to it and making it more of a full-on sensory experience. More on that later. And second, sounds help to kind of wake up your viewer and keep them interested by constantly re-engaging their attention. And on the note of keeping someone's attention and locked into your reels, let me show you one of the top marketing hacks that all creators know and use to keep people engaged and watching their content. It's called the rate of revelation. One of the best ways to hook people fast and keep them engaged throughout your Instagram reel is to increase the pacing of it and the overall speed that you're delivering insights, information, and or entertainment. The fancy term for this is obviously rate of revelation. Noise again and it describes how fast you're delivering new stuff to your viewer. Reels with a slow rate of revelation feel like they take forever to get into. Then they drag on and on without presenting anything new, and they can basically just bore you to tears. This is so boring. A fast rate of revelation, on the other hand, means non-stop value, a constant and steady stream of new and exciting information, all delivered at a rate that's almost too fast to keep up with, and therefore requires watching over and over and over again, just to make sure that you don't miss anything. And that's the key especially when it comes to short form vertical videos like Instagram Reels, TikToks, and YouTube Shorts. Delivering a staggering amount of content, value, or entertainment at a speed that's just beyond the brain's ability to process it. Let me give you an example. If you've ever been driving in a car and someone points something out as you're whipping by at like 60 miles an hour and you just barely have a chance to catch a glimpse of it. Basically, you maybe saw it, but not really. Meanwhile, everybody else in the car, well, they saw it and they're talking about just how cool it was and how they're gonna tell this story for years and years to come. About the time they saw 
that thing. You know, that super special thing. That thing you missed. Where? Out there? Guys, I missed it. Can we go back? Well, if you can relate to that at all, then you know exactly what this feels like. Now in real life, turning the car around just so you can go back and take a look at what everyone was talking about takes a whole lot of effort. So it's probably not gonna happen. But when it comes to an Instagram reel, you don't need to turn the car around or go back or do anything at all. You really just have to sit there and do nothing. And the video will loop back again automatically all on its own. So when people miss something that looked interesting but they couldn't quite catch it all, they just watch it again and that's what you want. Of course, there is a way to make this even more effective, which is to turn the rate of revelation up to 11 and venture into the territory of sensory overload. Sensory overload occurs when your brain is getting more input than it can essentially process and work through. If you've ever had someone try to explain something new or complicated to you and it feels like they're talking at you at a million miles a minute, then you know exactly what this feels like. All right, settle down everyone. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite element, zinc. Although I also like potassium. It's just fun to say. Potassium. Oh, hey, what's up, Adam? Do you know what this guy's even talking about? Now in real life, sensory overload is not a good thing, but in social media land, pushing the boundaries of sensory overload is kind of what we're shooting for. Basically delivering lots of stuff all at once, a fully immersive experience, something that your viewer can't, or at the very least doesn't want to stop watching, and something that's just so full of goodness, it gets them to watch it again and again and again. So here's how to do that. First, I already talked about the importance of auditory associations, including choosing trending music and adding sound effects. And of course, keep your rate of revelation high by condensing your reel as much as possible. There's no room for silence or boring pauses or fluff that people don't care about. They'll just keep scrolling. Next, add captions, and ideally visually appealing captions. Captions engage another part of the brain that keeps people more engaged because now they're not only watching and listening, but they're also reading. And we found this dramatically boosts retention. Then, if you're doing face to camera videos, make sure to use interesting facial expressions. You don't have to be weird, but try to look alive. The same goes for your voice and intonation varying the pitch up and down and pacing fast and slow, but obviously err on the faster side. And in what may be one of the weirdest, but also strangely most powerful things you can do is to try including animals in your next Instagram reel. Cats, dogs, hamsters, whatever you got. Animals evoke strong positive emotions in people. They capture attention and they make your brand and business feel more authentic, more relatable and more believable. But there's still one more thing you can do that'll really make your reel succeed. And that is to understand how to adjust your Instagram marketing strategy to take advantage of the recent Instagram algorithm change. So to help you do that, I've linked up a video right here on my best Instagram marketing strategies. So make sure to check it out now and I'll see you in the next video. Basically, the key to success, at least today, right now on Instagram is by doubling down and leveraging Instagram reels. So I say reels, real reach. This is because the way that the